Welcome to Port Republic, New Jersey and Thousand Trails Chestnut Lake RV Resort. Let's see what this park has to offer. So we're going to offer something a little bit different on this campground review. We're going to start it off with some of our personal thoughts. Then I'll show you around and show you what the park looks like. So to kick this off, I'm going to let Jessica start and talk about what she liked about the park and what she did not like about the park. I'll start with what I liked about the park. The uh, staff is really friendly. Uh, they were helpful. You know, that was really good. Uh, the park's actually pretty clean. Pool was nice. Uh, the laundry was small, and I went very early in the morning. I got it done. What'd you like about? Um, for me, again, it was the staff. I did deal a lot with the staff while I was here. I talked to them several times. Really nice people. Got our propane field here. Super easy to deal with. I like the fact that the sites are pretty level. Uh, we were able to pull in. We didn't have to pull out any any boards or any, any leveling blocks or anything like that. We were able just to pull up, let the levelers down, and we were easy to go. For me, a good level site is always good. And I like, too, that we had the full hookups. You know, that's always nice. They do have multiple sites here both ways, so I did enjoy that part. Now, we'll talk about a few of the things we did not like about this park. Go Number ahead. one, huge, the bugs. I can't stress enough about the bugs. Um, actually, I want to put a little clip in, if William will let me, about a bee. It's called a cicada killer, and they have them everywhere. They are very huge, and, and they do sting. And if so, they sting you, it's very painful. We actually is, watched a yeah. video on it. It's yeah. actually what people refer to as the murder hornet. It, um, and they have them bad. everywhere here. And that, that is rough. And uh, that's something they could treat and get rid of. That That's why we bring yeah, that up. He didn't really want to say anything because bugs are bugs and they're everywhere. But you can treat stuff and get rid of it. Uh, mosquitoes, terrible. You can't enjoy outside here at all because of the lake. And it's not a lake, it's a pond. Yeah, it's definitely not a lake. It should be called Chestnut Pond, which is nice. They, they do have canoes and kayaks and stuff you can take out there. But it, it is uh, pretty mucky water. Especially it's been hotter too, so that's made the bugs a lot worse. Number two, big thing. The sites are extremely small. Uh, very yeah. small. Yeah, very short. If you've got a big rig, it's very hard to get in. If you got anything over 35 feet, it can get pretty tight here. And I took some pictures also. I hope William includes these. Another uh, point is... They do not care what your campsite looks like. And what she's referring to there is there is a lot of annuals here, like any thousand trails, which is a common complaint by me. But the problem here with the annuals are a lot of them have been here, it looks like, for many, many years. And their sites are completely trashed. And I will include those pictures she's talking about and show some of those. The sites are completely trashed. And it does make the park look nasty. I'm going to say, you know, it makes parts of the park look nasty because those people aren't taking care of their sites. And that is where management and the staff needs to step up and tell these people you got to clean up your site. I don't care if you're annual, if you're here for one day or if you're here for two weeks, you got to have a clean site. It's really bad. It's the worst I've ever seen, actually. Yeah, there, there is definitely some very long, long, long term. It's very shady looking is all I can say. It's shady. Let's see. Another complaint that we just experience power outage uh, yeah so this is we're actually in our last night here and we've got a uh, low voltage warning um, and this is one where i did disagree with the staff they actually told me to disconnect my surge protector which was reading the low voltage warning and hook straight into the line of course i'm like no i'm not going to do that uh, i'm going to trust my surge protector over over the staff here and they do have all new power pedestals but he, the guy did explain to me that the problem is the lines feeding into it are still very old the underground lines that they're using they did not upgrade and that is what is causing low voltage and but they've actually had the power department here one time while we've been here because one half of the park completely lost power i'd say the last thing is there's no shade here and it was extremely hot like heat yeah. warnings out for us but and you can get shade so i will defend them a little bit on that one you can get shade if you're at the back end of the park um but if you do that also you're also kind of mixing in with a lot of the annuals and you're getting around some of those uh, uh, dirtier sites so let you know, me it's, let it's me just go want. ahead and say 99 percent of those sites back there are annuals so yes. you know be prepared for that yeah, and Scarlett's one of the side to exit. But that is true. It's almost like, uh, you know, most of the time, the way Thousand Trails the is, better the better sites, sites go to the annual yeah. sites. And I get the business prospect of that, but I still think that they should leave some open for the transit people to move through and occasionally have an opportunity to have a better site. And not that our site was too, too bad. It was just very small and very kind of narrow, too, but not too bad. Anything else you want to 
So. Um, nope, I think that wraps it up. You got anything else? No, I was very limited on time, so I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll uh, just uh, be done. All right, that sounds good. Well, now we will jump on into the campground review. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you've enjoyed this little mix-up we've done here of just adding in our personal feedback before we get into the actual tour. All right, here we go to the tour, y'all. So entering this park, you're going to come off the main road here, either from the right or the left. You're going to turn at the Chestnut Lake RV Resort sign, and you are going to immediately come over to this building here which is the Welcome Center. And also a lot of the amenities are found in here as well. And when you pull up to this gate right here, you're gonna to wanna to pull to the right, but don't get too close because the right side does not open up and you will actually be pulling through the left side when they let you in. And you're gonna see a little key code right here. And that is exactly where you're gonna enter each time you come in and out of the park. So you just enter a code and this side opens up and you go out and then coming out, it automatically opens up for you. That's kind of the entrance. Then you will go in here and get all your packing information. This is where you'll get the entrance code to get into the park. From there, you will go find your site and this is first come first serve on the sites. And here is an overview of the campground map. There is a mix of full hookup. Those are the blue sites and water and electric sites only. Those are the yellow sites. This is a northeast zone park with a total of 189 sites. Here is the nine hole mini golf course that's kind of off to the side of the park by itself. Not in too bad a shape except for the very last hole with the little cannon looking thing up there. It is kind of broken, but overall not too bad of a course. And here is the laundry. Again, this is connected to the main welcome center office. So you've got a total of three washers, a wash station, a little bit of a folding table there, and three dryers. And on the pricing to wash here is $1.25, so very reasonable. And to dry here is $1. So again, very reasonably priced on the washers and dryers here. But there is only three, and this is a bigger part. They do have a dump station here if you are just needing to dump or whatever if you're a thousand trails member of course you can come in and do this real quick but also if you're at one of the sites without the full hookups they've got a dump and washout station or they offer a honey wagon service as well and so of course the highlight to every campground is the pool we'll walk in and take a look at this if i can get in the gate gate right here so you walk in the pools open up at 10 a.m every morning and they do have a pretty nice setup up here. So as you can see, plenty of places to sit. Nice little gazebo to get under, get out of the sun, because it is hot right now. And here's the pool. It ranges from three to five feet deep. Pretty good size pool. Wish they had a good 10 foot side, but hey, you can't get everything. But here's a good view of it. Very nice area up here. And on the back side here, pretty good and shaded for the morning time. And so here is the adult lounge. As you can see, you got to be 18 years or older to enter without an adult. But you come in here and it's just like a sitting area. They got some TV going on, nice areas to sit. You got a nice pool table going here. And they have a poker table going. So you can go in the welcome center and they've got chips that they give out. And you can also get the pool sticks. And I don't know if the balls are in there or not, but I know the pool sticks are in there. And then here they've got a little library, a couple of little board games that you can play. So just a nice little cool area to come hang out, watch TV, and gather with other folks. So we'll walk in here and check out the men's bathhouse. This is the one that is connected to the Welcome Center. So this is one of two. And as you can see, you've got a sink. Of course, you've got your standard bathroom. And you have your showers. So the kind of curtains. I am not a big fan of the curtains, but that's all right it seemed to look okay we'll come on through so back here is your handicap accessible area bathrooms could use a little bit of updating but overall not too too bad and as you can see they do keep them clean they're in here cleaning now and just behind the adult lounge they do offer propane fill here i actually filled mine up yesterday but give you a kind of a view of it and they do a pretty reasonable rate i didn't pay too much yesterday so just something if you need it while you're here they've got it and it's probably easier to fill it up while you're at the campground 
and here is kind of the play area so they do got a basketball goal there that's leaning pretty good but they do have one they've got picnic tables you can sit at and they've got a volleyball court here that's in the sand for everybody to play on and of course they've got a pretty nice little playground here as well so overall not too bad here if you've got kids are probably going to like it and just behind the playground and volleyball court here is the second bathhouse and again it's built a lot like the first one it's got a little bit more showers in it and stuff overall pretty much built the same uh needs some updating but you know if you need it in a pinch or if you don't have a shower in your rv or a small one uh, probably work pretty good and here we have a community fire pit area with some little log seats to set out in here pretty neat not too bad and here we have their shuffleboard courts. They are a little bit worn out, but they are here if you wanted to use them. Uh, they're pretty marked out, so I don't know. This one here is probably the best looking one of the three that they have. So if you wanted to play shuffleboard, you could. And then of course over here, you've got the horseshoe pits that you could play in. Again, a little bit grown up, but overall not too bad and here is one of the highlights to the park this is actual chestnut lake which i feel like it probably should be chestnut pond it's not really a lake but they do offer free boat canoe and boat things you can get here to go out on the water if you so choose they do have this nice dock of course you can fish all you want to down here they said they've got some bass in here and a few other things but it is kind of pretty i like it there's some life jackets out there i guess that's some people that didn't make it back to the shore but uh but overall not a not a bad little thing they've got a nice little walking trail that goes behind it it's just a short little loop probably less than a half a mile so here's our campsite as you can see not too bad pretty level we didn't have to put down any leveling blocks or anything like that i'll give you the full walk around and also here i did have to put up my cell booster you've got the uh fake 5g e at t internet here so as you can see the cell booster's up but with that i'm getting about 15 megs down and about five megs up it's been enough to work off of and stream but probably not the best internet here for us at least through at t i do not have the verizon hotspot turned on right now so i was not able to test it but i have heard that verizon works better here um as far as we're in a full hookup spot so as you can see we got the sewer we got the water and we got the power and all the power pedestals here do look newer the only thing biggest complaint i've got about the sides you see a little bit of poison ivy around our water spigot there but you can see the newer looking pedestal is i don't think any thousand trails knows how to use a weed eater um you know if they would weed eat some of this stuff up it would just go away so but like i say overall not a real bad sight kind of narrow with this tree here but overall not bad sights at all and we do have lakefront too so that is uh, nice for what I'm going to call pond front, but, but we have it, so not too bad.